Hey guys, my name's Olivia and today we're going to talk about the main differences between college and university. So I'm a third year student at BCU, so I'll let you in on a few things that I've learned along the way um, because not everything is necessarily what you think it might be. What's a first? I don't know, I didn't know before university, um, but it's all explained to you so don't worry. First, two ones, two twos, all explained. So before you even get to university, you have a big choice. You have complete free reign over what subject you choose. And there's a lot of subjects out there, so there's a lot to choose from. And that's a really important decision to make. It's also really important because you want to be passionate about that subject and really motivated to study it. So you're in uni, you've chosen your course and the timetable looks completely different. So the first thing you might notice about your timetable is you might not be in that often. Obviously it changes from course to course but personally for my course I was only in three times a week which I wasn't used to after being on a five week timetable for years and years and years before that. So I was a bit like oh what am I supposed to do with all this free time? So at first you might be like oh yeah buzzing I don't have to go in like half the week <laughs> which is true but you actually do need to obviously do work on the other days as well. So my second thought was, what is a seminar? <laughs> and basically all a seminar is, is a classroom-like lesson, um, very similar to, actually to college or school. Um, and you just get to discuss the topic in a bit more detail with your classmates and lecturers and get the opportunity to ask questions and talk about things in just a bit more depth. Normally you will have lectures, which are what you may be stereotypically think of university, you know, big lecture hall, you're sitting listening to someone. And then later that day or week, you'll have a seminar to discuss in a bit more depth that subject that you covered in the lecture. You might also have something on your timetable called a tutorial, and that's not necessarily what you think it might be. So in college, that might be something maybe you go to in the morning to sort of register. But in university, a tutorial is a one-to-one -one opportunity to talk specifically to your tutor or lecturer about your work. This goes back to my first point, you've got to be passionate about your subject because there's a lot more independent work that goes into your university degree. So you've got to be able to get up and do it yourself on those days where you're not technically in university. Another huge difference is, of course, the campus and the facilities. So it's a big place, lots to see, lots to do. And um, finding your way around isn't actually as daunting as you think it might be. Lots of things are normally labeled really clearly and signposted, so don't worry about getting lost. And most lecture halls, you can't really miss them. They're quite big places. The facilities themselves are amazing. And in fact, that's one of the things that drew me to my course in particular. I am a fashion business student and the fashion department is incredible there's so many places to study you can hire equipment there's loads of like computer labs for you to use and printers and basically everything you can think of it's probably on campus somewhere <laughs> facilities might even be the thing that's the most different from college just because they're in such an abundance and they're so amazing and they're normally the top quality for whatever subject that you're going into Another thing that I definitely had to adjust to a little bit was sort of like the lingo or the way the university talks about different things or your lecturers might talk about things. So first of all, you might not be used to this, but you of course call them by their names. Um, now that doesn't mean that you get all unprofessional in the emails, you still have to be semi-professional for that semi-professional. <laughs> it's a really respectful relationship that you build with your lecturers. It's definitely less like teacher-student kind and it's more like a mutual respect um, because you know you're both adults um, and they are there just to guide you and help you but it's definitely less of that kind of teacher approach that maybe you've experienced before. One of the main things that threw me off, at the beginning of each module, they give you a briefing. Again, this might vary per course, but on my course, we're giving a briefing lecture and a, basically a document of some kind that has the outline of the module and what they expect of you, and normally the marking criteria. Essentially, all it does is lay out exactly what you need to do and exactly what they expect of you. Not that complicated, I think I just overcomplicated in my head because I didn't know what it was. So I hope you learned a little bit today about the key differences between college and university. Thank you so much for watching.